You can spend a lot of time creating either footnotes or endnotes in a document. At some time, though, you might want to convert your notes from one type to another. In this quick tip, I show you how the conversion can be easily done. Footnotes and endnotes are an important part of many documents. If you have a document that includes many footnotes, you may need to convert all those footnotes to endnotes. Conversely, you may need to convert all your endnotes to footnotes at some point. This is a common occurrence to meet the needs of different audiences. Some prefer footnotes and some prefer endnotes. To convert your notes, start by displaying the References tab of the ribbon. At the bottom right of the Footnotes group, there's a small icon that you need to click. This displays the Footnote and EndNote dialog box. Notice that there's a button here that says Convert. We want to click on that, and that displays the Convert Notes dialog box. There are three options in this dialog box that allow you to convert all footnotes to endnotes, convert all endnotes to footnotes, or swap the two. Word grays out the options that may not be applicable in the current document. For instance, this document only has footnotes, so the only option I can choose is to convert those footnotes to endnotes. Once you specify the option that you want, all you have to do is click on the OK button. Word makes the change and returns you to the footnote and endnote dialog box. There is one thing that you might want to note here. By default, Word numbers footnotes differently from endnotes. Footnotes are numbered using Arabic numerals, and endnotes are numbered using lowercase Roman numerals. If you're converting from footnotes to endnotes, like I did just here, you may want to change how the numbering is done in the endnotes. Since I've just converted from footnotes to endnotes, all I have to do is click the endnotes radio button right there, and notice that the number format drop-down list changed to the formatting that's used for those endnotes. It's lowercase Roman numerals. I can click the down arrow here and choose the Arabic numbers that I prefer in my endnotes, and then all I have to do is click on the Apply button. Word then does the formatting on those endnotes. In fact, if we jump to the end of the document, you can see that my two endnotes are down here, and they are using the Arabic numerals that I specified should be used there. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, well, you might consider signing up for my Word Tips newsletter. Every weekly issue is free, and it includes great tips that you can put to work right away. Information is in the notes just below this video. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.